Hi guys! So in this video, I will discuss about product rule for the derivatives of functions. So let's say we have a given function h of x, which is a product of two different functions f of x and g of x. Then we can apply the product rule to find the derivatives of h of x. So we will have h prime of x equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x if f prime of x and g of g prime of x exist of course they must both exist for this formula to be applicable so basically product rule are most often used when we encounter those functions that are a product of two uh, different functions and we can interpret it as uh, copying the first function multiply by the der derivative of the second plus copying the second function multiplied by the derivative of the first function so let's now have some examples to illustrate how we will use the product rule to find the derivatives functions. Okay. So let's have our first example. Let's say we have y is equal to quantity 2x cubed minus 4x squared times the quantity of 3x to the fifth plus x squared so obviously it is a product of two different functions so we can name the first function to be f of x and the second function to be g of x so as you notice, we can simply perform the product and then we will end up with polynomials and from then we can now differentiate that polynomial term by term using power formula. But let's try to approach it using the product formula. So from the formula that we will have, y prime will be uh, this part. So uh copy f of x so f of x will be 2x cubed minus 4x squared then multiply it by the derivative of the second function which is g of x so the derivative will be 15x to the fourth plus 2x and then plus now copy the second function g of x so we have 3x to the fifth plus x squared and then multiply it now by the derivative of the first function f of x so its derivative will be 6x squared minus 8x so now we're done with the differentiation we'll just perform the simplification so we can perform the products of these two binomials using FOIL method. So we have 30x to the 7th plus 4x to the 4th minus 60x to the 6th minus 8x cubed plus 18x to the 7th minus 24x to the 6th plus 6x to the 4th minus 8x cubed. So let's now combine similar terms. So for the highest power, we have x to the 7th x to the seventh so 30 x to the seventh plus 18 x to the seventh will be 48 x to the seventh for the next power we'll have 
x to the 6 so x to the 6 x to the 6 so they are the only ones so negative 60 minus 24 will be negative 84 x to the sixth then for the next power we have raised to the fourth okay raised to the fourth yeah so we have 4 plus 6 we have positive 10 x to the fourth and the next will be the last the x to the cube so we'll be having negative 16 x cubed so that will be our final answer so if we will want to check the answer using like the like what i've said earlier the method of expanding it first uh, let's check if we will have arrived at the same answer so so basically y will be equal to using foil again 6x to the 8 and then positive 2x to the 5th negative 12x to the 7th and then negative 4x to the 4th So we will try to differentiate it now term by term using power formula. So y prime will be 48x to the 7th plus 10x to the 4th minus 84x to the 6th minus 16x cubed. So which is the same. So this proves our product rule for this example. So now let's have another example. So for example two, let's say we have y is equal to x squared of ln x. So again, it is a product of two different functions. So we can let x squared to be our f of x and ln next to be our g of x. So applying again product rule, y prime will be copied f of x, which is x squared, then differentiate g of x, which is ln x, the derivative is simply 1 over x, plus uh, copy the g of x, which is ln x, and then multiply it by the derivative of f of x, which is x squared, so its derivative is simply 2x. So simplifying, we have x squared times 1 over x. So we'll basically cancel this x at the denominator and we'll have x, a remaining of x plus ln x times 2x. So we'll simply rewrite it as 2x ln x. So I think that will be the simplest form and the final answer. Now let's try to solve a tricky one. Let's say we have y equal to e raised to x and cosine x times sine x so again they are products of not more of not just two different functions but three so we have e raised to the x cosine x and sine x how will we do that so we can still apply the product rule for the derivatives but we'll just have to group these three functions first so let's say we can let e raised to x are as as our f of x and then grouping the cosine times sine x to be our g of x so we can use again the product rule but this time uh, we will apply again the product rule for the g of x when we differentiate it since it is composed of another products of two different functions so let's try so y prime will be so copy f of x which is e raised to x and then the derivative of g of x which is like what i've said the product rule again to be applied so let's say our f of x will be f of will be cosine and our g of x will be x, will be sine x so copy cosine x 
then times the derivative of g of x which is sine x is simply cosine x plus now copy g of x which is sine x multiplied by the derivative by the derivative of f of x which is cosine x and its derivative is negative sine x then let's proceed to the plus then this time we'll just have to copy g of x which is initially cosine x times sine x then the derivative of f of x which is e raised to x is simply the same e raised to x now we're done with the differentiation and then all we have to do is to simplify our answer so e raised to the x times cos squared x minus sine squared x plus e raised to x times cos sine of x sine of x then we can factor out e raised to x obtaining e raised to x times quantity cos sine squared x minus sine squared x plus cosine x sine x so i think this will be our final answer so thank you for watching guys and i hope you learned something from my tutorial about product rule and see you guys again for my new videos and thank you again for watching